table about tables HTML. Uh, so when you have a lot of information, you want a lot of information, you want a lot of information, that goes into the table, uh, but it's a but from a spreadsheet, you can have So, you can start with, uh, first of all, I have and that start with. So, that is HTML. Yeah. Thing with HTML. Then the heading. Then give it a style for the table. This is for foreign family defined. Material. Sans serif, all those fonts that you know about similar to word in the video we will be talking about uh, making changes to these, uh, the border style and all that So the main things of HTML we had discussed in previous video and these ones what we do is it will take a lot of from us that's how the table is going to be formed and we have define our styles I mean that's how, that's how the syntax is so there's a reason I'm defining it that way plus you have some text alignment keeping it as left and then some padding padding means how much how much gap we want then We have again these are the tags that we are going to use to define a table in which uh, the child elements are going there. So <clears throat> That's how we do it. Then the child element. Then the head. Close the head. Start the body, then the HTML. Yeah, I'm just just uh, writing the table, not giving it any heading. Then defining tr. Then these are going to repeated elements, so I can just. I just copy it. When these uh, we are going to define some we define stuff. So the first one I am just writing name paste it backslash
then country registered backslash again pasted then contact dash that's one row of our table then in the next one the next in uh, the next so we can have like uh, three of them i will i'll just create otherwise you know this is like like a big reception I'll just change the data for instead of contact. Uh, yeah, instead of name, let me just write some name. And then country and contact. <laughs> Now I can write another. Now I can write another row, and then instead of contact, in uh, I have to define the person. Then country is defined. Then contact there. again paste it so i am just doing it for 3 and then uh, then next country is uk and then contact is uh, let me let, let's just write as elizabeth Okay, so I, I have done it like for uh, two, two, three rows and uh, once that is done, I can just close the table in body. Let me go ahead and close the table. Close the body. Then close the HTML. Copy the entire thing so that I can take it to word file and then save it. I just want to save it as my old file where uh, I want to just define it as HTML only, override it. Then let's see how our outcome looks like. Yeah, so you can see, you know, this tabular tabular form is there. Name, country, and contact is defined, and all these names are there. And uh, yeah, some attributes might be missing because we will have to check that. If, if you know, keep the first one as highlighted. Let me just see. Style is there, table, font, family, Arial, sans serif, border collapse, collapse, width is there, then close it, then open TDTH, border one pixel, solid, text alignment left, eight pixel, then close it. 
टी आर एन एच चाइल्ड इवन दस देर बैकग्राउंड कलर इज देर स्टाइल हेड बॉडी इज देर स्टाइल हेड बॉडी देन टेबल देन टी आर टी आर टी आर आफ्टर टेबल इट्स टी आर ओके सॉरी टी आर टी एच टी एच देन टी आर क्लोज टी आर ओपन एंड इट्स डिफाइंड एज टी डी ओके आई हैव जस्ट कैप्ट इज एस टी एच सो इट्स टी डी सो आवेड ओके नोन या दिस वन इज ones uh, name country and contact would be td and let me just because we are defining something so i mean it's just few elements that need the styling others don't need styling we'll see the outcome soon mm -hmm. Here as because these are only few elements wherein we want the bold, wherein we want the styling. So accordingly, we can. make the changes yeah let's save it click on f5 so you can see that you know now name country and contact is in bold these things are in regular text so that's how we for a table this video and in the next video we